Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hello and welcome to the Board Game Nights of the Round Table, to where until we get a budget or tables or a reptangle. I'm Chris. I'm Olivia. And today, for the first game of Spooktober, we're playing Horrified World Monsters. <laughs> Okay, so we're playing the World Monsters, which is the new version that just came out this year. Uh, we are fighting um, the Yeti, the Sphinx, and Cthulhu. Uh, Cthulhu has two phases. We're just going to talk about the first phase right now, uh, but we'll go through the Yeti first. For the Yeti, these we've randomly shuffled and dealt out these lair card, these lair locations. Uh, one here. There's one there. One right there. Here. Yep, there. So we can discard three strength item of any kind to reveal uh, the lair, and if it's the Yeti, we then have to use the guide action to push the kids. So I don't I don't think we can move the kids with us. We have to yeah, guide it's, them. Yeah, no, it's, it's basically, it's the guide action. Yeah, uh, one legend. Two and from an adjacent location. Yeah, so we can't move with them. It says like, okay, it says. Oh, so like. Because I just took it as that's how we take our people with us. Yeah, no, it says guide to escort. So I think we have to use the guide action specifically to escort the yetis to there. So do we it's have to be do a little that tedious. with these too? No, 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 no. Those guys, it says in the rule book you can move them. It says guide in, in the thing. So you have to guide okay. them, which is was frustrating. But. Yeah. Okay, so once you get all three kids, um, all three kids to the yeti's lair, you discard one item uh, on the Yeti's location, and he's defeated. He goes back to his lair. Just one? Yeah. Or of every item? Defeat one of each item type. Okay, sorry. One of each item type to defeat him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Sphinx has these rows and columns, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get either both rows or columns to add up. So we have like five here. So by the time we put items here, this should equal 11. Or we could have this equal 7, 5, and 9. Does that have to... Equal exactly 11? Yeah. Okay. So, and then this is 11 and 10. So, that's going to be... Uh, actually, I don't know if that's... I'm sorry, I'm looking at this. I don't know if it's possible to do both. We were talking about maybe doing a hard mode. Okay. So, for Cthulhu, we have these dials, and we have these icons that we shuffled out. So, um, we have these things set to the exclamation point, and for every uh, item we can discard on his face, on his face, we can turn his dial that many, that many spaces. Mm-hmm. Um, and once all three uh, dials match that location, we can spend green icons on his square to push him back to the void. Then he goes over here and we have to defeat him in his city. Discard a number of the same color items that equal or exceed the value of the items controlled by Cthulhu. Oh, well, that's lucky. It's a one. I drew that at random. So we just have to discard one item from each, uh, space to cover these tentacles. I don't know why we have four. That is interesting. I don't know why we have four of these. And then we, once we place them, we bind his tentacles and he is defeated. Um, when all the tentacles are mangled, all heroes must be in really use the share action to gather an item from each other hero. Disc I'm a little confused by that. Place the heroes in the specific location that matches the type of item being discarded. You can only discard one item per an action, then place them. And, oh, okay. So you actually don't. So when you discard an item over here, let's say you're discarding a purple item, you put your character on the purple thing, and then you take this and put it on the tentacle. Okay. That's and why then, we need four. Then. Yeah. Then why does it only four, have three spaces? Though? Well, when you get four tentacles covered up, you don't, it doesn't matter which ones you use as oh. long as so when you get four of them, then you have to have all the heroes here and they have to share an item. And then that defeats them. It's, like we would both have to have the hand? Well, we would both have, no, we'd both have to, like, we'd both have to be in there 
and then one of us would share a hand. The problem is, how does he attack? That's what I want to know. Like, um, like if he goes over here, what happens when he activates? That's what I'm thinking. Like, if he doesn't do anything, I want to push him back into the, does, the I, void. You read something about... At the void, discard an item. Oh, you have to do that at the void. We've been doing it on his space. You have to go to the void to discard the items to advance it. Okay. Um, to advance. To, to advance, yeah, those, yeah. Uh, Lure Cthulhu to the void. Cthulhu may move there on his own or as a discard a green item to move the... Yeah, okay. It says Cthulhu ignores any monster movement from any source once it has entered the corpse of the relay. Okay. Is that the Corpse City yeah. Relay? Yeah. If there are any monsters on the main board when the heroes are in Relay, they may move toward the void and enter the Corpse City Relay. The Corpse City Relay is a single location, so monsters can attack any hero there. It takes okay. one move action to move into or out of the Corpse City Relay. Heroes in the Corpse City Relay can be affected by perk cards. Monsters there cannot be. Okay. Uh, so what's that saying is he, he doesn't move. So you're right. It might be good to push him in there and just leave him in there That's what until I'm we thinking. can defeat him. I think you might be right on that. So maybe we start attacking him right away. Okay, because then so if we go, would we move? We'd have to get those done. Yeah, to but move you'd him be moving. Okay, so to move from the void to here it takes an action. And again, we will. Uh, we'll, we'll put. No, his I'm words saying in. we need to move here to move those. Yes. Okay. So he'll still attack you if his if his if these icons come up. But he won't move while he's sealed in there. That's what I'm saying. Like, he so, couldn't come up yeah, to that us might and, be... like, attack us. Right, okay. He could only, like, attack us if it says to attack, right? Uh, yeah, and if we're in his space, he could attack us. Remember, monsters can come into the void, too, so just keep that in mind. I know, but if yeah. we're not... Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and use my special uh, spectral diverter, okay. since you can use perk cards at any time. And we'll just put two more items out. Because there's no reason not to use this at any time. And But you want to take your turn first, or do you want me to take my turn first? Um, I think you should take your turn first, because then maybe you can send me an item to let me get really going here. You think I should go first? Yeah, I think okay. you should go the first. The roaming wolf. Where's the roaming wolf? It's up there. Oh, isn't it? oh okay, yep. And then the scuttled siren. I think that's near That's you. where I'm at. That's, that's perfect, so. Okay. Is that a four? That is a four. Okay. That's a green four. So I'm gonna do What's your what's your perk your perk card? What does that say? Oh, it just says um choose one, move each monster up to two spaces, or move each hero up to two spaces. Ooh. So I really feel like that's a good move, especially if we want to get him to the void. Yeah. Um but I know we're trying to get there to move those first. Oh, what are those, by the way? Oh, we got an X, a circle, and like the three lines. Okay. So, um, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this, which will be one. I think we should start just trying to gather items right now, as much items as we can, and try to stay away from the monsters. Because, full disclaimer, we actually played this earlier and just totally got wrecked. Like, it was like four or five rounds. We were just destroyed. Um, so, I'm just saying I think we need to play a way more defensively. Just so Oh, you know. definitely. Um, so you think I should come over here and pick these items up? Well, I can up? pick those up because I'll be like right there. I don't really want to head towards the monster. I don't think you should. I think we should try to sweep on this side because the monsters are all up here. So maybe we should try and start sweeping this way. If you want to come this way, see the one, two. I could turn this over on my way through. You could. That would be good because so we did reshuffle two. those. Also, just to kind of show you the kind of game we're having, this is where the Yeti layer was, which oh, is, wait, of course, the first. So because that's... One, Okay. Two, no, three. One, two, three. Well, but that's over here, so I'd have to go there, and then yeah, I would... maybe wait a turn to see how yeah. things go. Uh, maybe I'll just move. Or do you want to send me an item? Oh wait, that's too powerful for me to throw away on my ability. Um, so just so you guys know, I am playing as the um, the buccaneer, which means I have three actions, and I can discard an item at the start of my turn to get plus four actions, so I can have seven actions. And I have the parapsychologist. I start at the where's Obs observatory. And I may distribute any items I have to other players. Um, I'm going to just move here because I want to be That's fine. farther we'll, away yeah. from him. Yep. Okay, so let's reveal our first monster card. And, and cry? No. Yeah. 
Yeah, these moving Gyrosopter twice. search. Turn a revealed layer face down, then mix up all face down layers. Move <laughs> the frenzy marker to the next monster. Well, never oh, mind, because well, it was... Well, now the Sphinx is going to move, and the... Well, uh, at least... Yeah. yeah, and at least we didn't yeah. reveal it. And at least he's the farthest away. Yeah, but, okay, that's fine. So the Yeti doesn't move twice. That's good. Okay, Where's so the we potion? get three items. Hold on, that's the... Potion's the, the Yeti. Yeah. But for the Sphinx moves first. Okay. He's, he's not the frenzy monster. How many movements do they move? Three. One... Two, three. Okay, and the Yeti's gonna move three. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, and then that's... Look at that, they're already closing their net in on us. Yeah, that's it. Three spaces, and then did you get the free items? I did not. Okay. South Station. Okay, that's a one. The Scuttled Siren. Oh, cool. And the Spindlewood Institute. Do you see that? That is, um, yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's, it's, it's up. Is that it? Right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, I'm going to go one, two. One, two. Oh, one. Yeah, sorry. One. I got a record player and a mechanized crow. This is a very steampunk game. And then I'm going to go two, three. Um, just because I'm trying to get away and plus I'm going to throw that Yeti towards the, towards the uh, Clockworks village. Uh, Cause like, that's at least going to benefit us no matter what. Okay. Hey, look, uh, Cthulhu moves, but no one else. He moves one space. Wow. Okay. Oh, nope. Never mind. Each knife monster, which is the Sphinx, uh, deals one damage to each hero or village on their space. Hey, look, we're not there. So, and we get one item and then Cthulhu moves and... Let's see, you are one, two, three, and I'm one, two, three, four. So he's going to move this way. Steward Spiral. Uh, that's right here. Okay. Monster action awaiting the hunt. Okay. Uh, your turn. So one. Now I can either turn this over or I can keep going. Which do you think we I should do? Um, I still have three more moves. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if that makes sense. And maybe we try to like... I'll try to go over here and be still yeah. far enough away from Cause them. Because if, if this layer is here, for example, like yeah. we can kind of start working like... Because this guy is right here. So you could pull this guy in right away. It's the no, one we okay. don't have. Yeah, but no, keep it here because sometimes they say to reshuffle the layers. So, okay, bummer. So, one. What was that it was two? One, two. Did you pick up the items though? Yeah. So, two, that's three. This is three. And four, well, no, you picked up the items. Yep. You one, flipped over the layer. Two. two. No, you flipped oh, over one, the layer. One, two, three, four. Yep. Got it. Sorry. Nope, you're fine. Don't do the monster card, please. Two. Um, items, okay. Items. Monster action. Nowhere to hide. Each potion monster removes all items from the closest space containing items. So this is this guy, and there's this one and this one. So let's just take out this one. That's fine. Because it's the lesser value, so just throw that there. Then the frenzied monster, frenzied monster moves one. one. Okay. So he'll move here. And then he's going to move again, because he's the crystal too. Oh, he's the crystal as yeah, well. Yeah, so he's going to move here. Good. Okay. And that's it. Well, hold on. Cthulhu is also a crystal monster, so he's going to move here. And then I'm going to get two items. Um, Skyboard. Bound. Board. Whatever. Yeah. Galleon. And Steward Spiral, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to discard my Mechanized Crow to get plus four actions. I must be my first action to throw this guy over here for a guide. Because, like, again, we might as well move him in that direction. Uh, then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Nice move. And then that might put me close enough to the void to do some work. Okay, so only a... Uh, the Sphinx is going to move this turn. He's going to move two. Me. Yeah, sorry. Oh, and then move each monster 
with the ratchet, it's uh, two spaces. So Kafu is going to move two more spaces. Uh, he's going to move to me, but too. But he doesn't attack you. And the Sphinx only has one dice. And we How get two items. Not... Uh, well, it just as you move it to the... Oh, to the closest monster. So he was... Oh, the closest monster. Was, here? was he here? Yeah. So, so he, he technically, technically yeah. moves up to yeah, there. That's perfect. And then the Sphinx moves because he's got the hand. He moved towards you. He's going to roll one dice. And we get two items. So, hey. One hit. So you're going to have to discard one of your items. You said two items? Yeah. Yep. Here, I can place those while you're... I'm just going to get rid of this. One. Door of the world... I don't actually know where that location's at. Me neither. Oh. Giant door. And the observatory. Okay. It's the only normal so place. It's your turn. <laughs> at the north station. I'm running. So I get four actions. One, two, three, four. That's a fair move. All right, let's reveal the card, see what we get. Scared. Oh, well, that's not good. Two, aquatic con convergence. Notes, move each monster two spaces towards the closest monster. With a wrench. So Cthulhu has a wrench. He's, well, he's already, already there. there. So he's going to go one, two. Okay. And then the Sphinx moves again, two spaces towards the nearest player. So he's going to go, you pulled me away for that. Okay, and then two items come out. That actually benefited Sweet. us. This was never happening when we were playing, by the way. Every card was like, yeah. monsters at your doorstep, monsters attack, monster attack. Door of the world. Okay. And Ooh, that's a six. Stilt town? Do you see a stilt town? Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, right here. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to discard my Skybound, uh, my binoculars for my four actions. I'm going to go one and then discard the this one, this purple item, to flip over this. Oh, the Yeti's Cave, which is of again. Of course, the farthest But hey, place. it's okay. It's okay. We know where it's at. So we can actually start throwing this little guy in there. But then I'm going to go, so it's one, two, and we go three, four, five. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this for six. I'm going to turn this green dial this way. Oh, yeah. Sorry, if somebody told me from my last playthrough that that's where the three lines were. That's fine. And then I'll go ahead and get rid of a blue item. Is that five? So I went one, two, three, four, five, so six, six, seven. F plus four actions. Four plus three is seven. Yeah, so you get to move. You yep, just so, did the blue. Yeah, well, I said, no, I tried to, yes, yeah, so this is my seventh action, the blue. Uh, I think it's, oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay, so we just need to get the purple to the X. And uh, we can push Cthulhu towards into the void. Okay, so speaking of which, uh, hey, no, the, none of the monsters move this turn. Wow. Well, each monster with an eye location. To, Move each load to the closest lair location. So Cthulhu is on with the eye. Closest lair is one, two, one, two. I'm going to move him up in the corner. That's fine. And I already placed the item while you were talking. Thank you. Perfect. And then, yep, so nobody moves. Okay. I, I know that we need to move Cthulhu to the void, but I'd rather have him I not braving down this. my. Well, I don't know how far the X is, and I can't remember which way it is. So. Um, That's okay. It's my turn, and I have a two you that can I'm pull, gonna try to move. You can I pull think the Yeti towards you. Way. You can pull the Yeti child towards you, and I can pull this guy over here and throw him towards that. Oh, I can pull him. Yeah, because you're guiding him. One. Would I move him up here? Yep. Two. Two. Three. Four. Okay. So I'm move that way. Move it that way. Okay. okay. So one. Two. It's a Y. Okay. So I can do that and we can at least get another two movements and see how far until we get the X, right? Sounds good. Okay. Citizen Howard. Steward Spiral. Oh. Or Spire. Hello. My name is Howard uh -oh. and I'm a historian of sorts and an owl of sorts. Well, do you see the um, owl? Is that him right there? 
Nope, that's a guy in a fish tank. It's right here, honey. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So he's right going to start. He wants to go to the roaming wharf. And he's at the He's right room. there. Which, yeah. Okay, the frenzy monster moves one. Sphinx, and so he's going to move up here. And then the Yeti's gonna the Yeti move. moves one. Of course. Look at that. See, the monster, the guy spawns, the Yeti immediately goes. Uh -huh. Nothing we can do about this. Two. Oh. Two attacks. This guy was mauled by the Yeti before he even had a chance. Oh, we forgot to reset the terror track. So. Oops. Hey, look. Again, see, th this is this is kind of how the whole game went for us last time. The guy would spawn, and the monsters would immediately jump on him. And what can, you can't do anything about that. You can't be there. Okay. So it's my turn. Scuttled siren. Where's that at again? Right here, right? Okay. Yeah. No, that's a still town. Oh. Oh, right here. Thank you. I'm going to discard my record player to get the four extra I actions. I think that's... That, you just... Did I just do that? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you just did I'm that. Tired. Okay, so I'm going to discard this to move this two more spaces. Oh, there's the X right there. I guess I should have moved Cthulhu towards You just towards threw... Us. Oh, for the four actions. Yeah. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's one. I'm going to go two and three because these guys can't be harassed by monsters. Right. And then I'm going to go four, five, six. Better run. Well, I can take a couple of hits. Oh, that's true. Well, the thing is, like. We don't want to do that. <laughs> I know, but it's like, what's one more space going to actually do for me? I guess I'll go here, seven, and I can always throw the guy back up there. I was just thinking about pulling this guy and then, you know, pulling him towards me and then trying to, like, work the Yetis out of the way, so. Okay. I'll do that. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. <sighs> so there, seven. And the Yeti doesn't activate this turn. Each uh, each hand monster deals one damage to the closest hero or villager that is within three spaces. That's the Yeti, so he's going to deal one damage to you because you're the one that's closest to him. Do what? The Sphinx is going to deal one damage to you. Okay, um, then Cthulhu, so he's going to move one space on. He's one, and then got one, two, three. Oh, you can push Cthulhu into the void. One, two, f oh, no, not quite. That's okay, I can move him next round. Yeah. Okay, so. How do I push him into the void? Uh, he just enters that space, and then he'll immediately come over here. Okay, well, I'll pull him in with this. Oh, oh. wait. You didn't move him. You only moved him one. Yeah, he only moves one space. Oh. Unfortunately. I can only move him two spaces with this, so. Well, it's your turn. If I come out here, then I can go that way, right? Yeah, those are connected by pathways. Mm -hmm. oh, just to be clear, this Yeti is where the Sphinx is. So. Oh, I know. But maybe for people watching. One. Two. Ding. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. One, two, four. Ah, it's just he's exactly too many spaces away, but that's fine. You have a... She oh, has a yeah, part card yeah. that lets her move any monster three spaces. Three? No, two. Mm, two spaces. Oh, two spaces? Yeah. That's three. I'm going to just do four, so I'm a little bit farther away from him. Yeah, and then you can pull a then guy I can towards pull you. One yeah. up. At least that'll get one Yeti child yeah. off the map. Okay, we get three items. Yeah, and then that little fish guy comes in. And then the Shinya. Yeah. Arcane Forge. And he wants to go to the steam plant. Okay. When the steam plant manager fell into the lake, his soul was swallowed by a fish. A minor inconvenience. Man, okay. What an inconvenience. So the Sphinx um, the is going ghost. to move two spaces because he's a frenzied monster. So he's going to move two and roll one dice. So he's going to go. Two? Yep. Of course he is. One dice? Yep. All right. Who's the ghost? Both of them. <sighs> of course. As a group, discard two items that are the same strength or increase the terror attack by one. I have a three, three, and a four. I have a three and a three, so that takes a bunch of my strength. Yeah, I know, right? 
Okay, and then the Yeti's going to how many movements is it? Two? Two. Oh, he's he's on my space, so he gets well we'll do the Cthulhu first. He's going to I am one, two away, and you are one, two, three. So he's gonna move two towards me. Well, you can use your thing though to push him to the void this turn. So both of them get to roll one, one dice. dice. So here I'll let you roll the dice. Do it for Cuff. Do it for the Yeti first. Okay, I take a hit. I'm gonna lose my and a hit. Okay. At least I tried. No, you're fine. Okay, now you can activate your your little thing that lets you move a monster two spaces, and boom. So we will bring this up whenever whenever we need to. We will put this here. Okay. You guys what's going on? But Cthulhu is there. So and uh, yay! Now maybe we can get a break for a minute. And so it's now it's my turn. I believe so. I don't have an item to discard, so I've got free eye, free movements here. Um, I want to throw that Yeti child at least one direction, but I'm also, like, not in really good shape. I might just have to bail for now. Yeah, I would run. Because, like, the Yeti is... We are so close to getting rid of the Yeti, but... If you got up here, you could at least get something. I was thinking about going up there and getting those things, because there's, okay. like, a six, a two, and a three. That would be really useful. So I'll go one... Two, three. There we go. Okay. Um, that was my turn. We're going to draw a monster card. We get three items. Citizen Raimi. Raimi? He's in the um, four get, vine woods. Did I put three items out for this one? Uh, no. So we get six items. Okay, so the Sphinx is going to activate and the Ghost is going to activate. So the Yeti. So the oh, do I need to get somebody out? Rainy. Yeah. Uh, perhaps Raimi would capture better footage for his documentary if he weren't always running away. Where's he at? To be fair, though, it's, he's got like a hat and a camera. No. Oh. Four Vine Woods. Yeah, Four Vine Woods. I'm sorry. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> right next to the Yeti. Yeah, I and guess really, who's moving? I don't really blame him for doing that. Yeah, but guess who's moving and attacking? The Yeti. With three oh, dice. he's dead. Yep. Sorry, buddy. But see, like, this is crazy. Like, I don't feel like <coughs> it was this unlucky when we played before. And then the Sphinx will also attack, because he's... So the Sphinx will attack you first. Two hits and the exclamation point, which... I'm dead. So, don't, you, you don't have... You might as well not even discard that item, because you're going to be defeated no matter what. So we'll just put you down there. Oh, I thought I had to. No, you can choose not to. So the terror track marker is going to go up twice, because of course it is. Okay, well, Cthulhu would have moved that turn, but it says, like, when he's in the void, he ignores movement, so we're good. That's a good idea. That was a good strategy, by the way, but... And then, also this guy. Let's see what happens to him. Spindlewood. Where's the Spindlewood? Oh, there it is. Man, just when I was about to get one of the Yetis. Oh, this guy is dead, too. So... See, the guys keep spawning right next to monsters, like, and we can't do anything to save them. This is the only guy that hasn't spawned next to a monster yet. Okay, so it's your turn. You stand up immediately. Oh, and this is over here. Just kind of put it back here. Okie doke. So, one, two, I'm like so tempted, but probably should run for now. Yeah, we need to play defensively because these guys are just wrecking us. If we could, we could almost get the Yeti defeated, and I think once we do that, we're okay. Because I think we should both try to, like, I think you should end your turn going into the void, and I should be next to it when that time comes. Oh, when and the time I should comes, immediately yeah. drop seven I, I, actions to go in there mm -hmm. and go boom, 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 and just defeat him, you know? So. so. Yeah, I would so just play defensively. One, two, three, and then four to kind of get away from him. That's smart. I'm going to try and rescue that guy to get us some perk cards. Oh, another. Jennifer. Clockwork Village, which is here. Yeah, he's going to activate twice. Where's Jennifer? Then we get three items. A steward in training. Jennifer gives us all hope the terrestrial plane will remain safe. 
Uh, the Frenzy Monster moves one, which is the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move it that way because I think we're Yeah, closer. and then he's going to move again. Oh, because he's a crystal? Yep. Which is fine. He'll only move two spaces. Okay. Did and you get the three items? And I haven't got the three items okay. yet. House of Dawn. Mary's Middle. And Steam Plant. Okay. Well, I don't want to go without items, so I'm going to have to go one. Just to give me... Oof, that's a powerful item. Six. So one. Uh, two, three. Like, just because, like, I'd love to go around there to try to protect them, but, like, I... If I... I'd just go here at most, so. Deja vu. Zero items. Note, for each monster drawn in place, an item and place the monster in an item space. For each monster, draw an item and play, to, an item to, place, draw an item token and place the monster in that space. Okay, so this is how Cthulhu breaks out of the void. That's okay, we can push him back into the void. Unfortunately, he's going to move. So draw an item. We'll do it. For, we'll just start from the bottom and go up. So draw an item for Yeti. Door of the world. Oh, so Yeti's going to jump up here. Of course. Why not? Yeah. The thing is, he doesn't go. So you want to put the item in the door of the world? Oh, place the monster in that item space. So I think the items go back in the bed. No, it says draw an item. So I'm just interpreting that as the items come on. Okay. So the next monster this is going to be for the Sphinx. North Station. Oh, that's, that's nice. And Cthulhu. North Station. Hey, put that on up there. We just need to get Cthulhu back to the void. The Frenzied Monster is going to activate and Cthulhu, so they're both going to move one space. Well, that kind of threw my plan away. Well. Oh, well. I guess now we can start kind of pushing this Yeti up towards the... um. You know, trying to rescue some of these people. Yeah. So she wants to go to Stilt Town, which is here, and he wants to go there. Oh, she wants to go to Stilt Town. So we can okay. get we can do both of these guys in one swoop. One, two. Should I press him? If you want to throw him like in towards, yeah. Three. Three. That's totally fine. And then four. Okay, draw a card. Another guy. Dr. Weird. He's, if I'm not mistaken, Skybound. He, yeah. and he wants to go His to the ingenious Weird Observatory. In 12. Who? Doctorate. <sighs> speak to his versatility in facing the void's many surprises. The Wait, frenzy one, monster two, three, four. moves one. Yeah, one, two, three. Unfortunately, they're going to move. So these both move here. One. And then he's going to go there because he's the crystal yeah. monster as well. So, so he doesn't get to him. No, he doesn't. But like it, it's my turn. And I get three items. It's your turn, yeah, and I can't get to him. Nope. So I'm going to discard a backpack to give me backpack. plus three items. So we go okay. one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can. I can at least pull him away from. Yeah, you know I can do that. I can kind of pull him away from chaos at least, to just to get him out of the danger zone. Because like, we really can't be taking much more hits. So I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with a guide action. Perfect. So, oops, I didn't see what that was. How do we get those again? Just to save them? Yes. Okay. Notes, each ghost monster moves free spaces towards the heroes. Uh, so Cthulhu is going to move one, two, three, and he's going to move one, two, three. And then the frenzied monster is going to move one space. And the monster with the knife icon is going to move one space. And he gets to roll three dice. Hey, would you do the honors? 
Do I have to? Give me a roll, I can roll. Sorry. No, it's... At it's least you saved my brother. Yeah, well... For now. Yeah, like... Oh, I, wait, I don't the other have... one's not to attack, does no, he? No, no. No? The Sphinx moved one space, because it's like a movement of yeah. one that moved him here. Yeah. And then he moved another space, and then he attacked. Oh, so but no this else one moved. doesn't? No, they just move. Oh, they just move. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> um, yeah. Well, it's your turn. Lovely. I don't have any items to discard, so if you want to send an item to me, I would appreciate it. It's just How really... many would you like? Because I can well, give you one... as many. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Well, you go one, two. Ah, that doesn't work either. I guess you can go three and then four. Will I just take her with me? Yeah, because you, if you move, you can move those people with you. I was going to say, I can give all four of these to you if you want, but that'll put me right there and then I won't have yeah, anything. I think if we want to keep them safe, that might be the best option is to go one, two, move that guy with you, three, and then go into that corner. This guy with me? Yeah, like, or you can pull him with you right now, but you can go. One, two, three, four. And at least kind of hunker down. They're probably going to kill me, but what else is now? Sorry. Yeah. Nope. Ah, vital energy. Each hero and villager moves two spaces towards the monster closest to them. Okay, well, I can't move in. So everybody attacks, like, right there. Right? Because you're one, two. Wait. There's a party at the, uh, the Scuttled Tavern. The Scuttled Siren. And then the, the, the Sphinx attacks. He moves, he rolls three dice. Of course he rolls three dice. He's going to attack you since you have the items to lose, okay? Oh, that's fine. Who has the oh, wrench? two items. Anybody? Nobody has the gear. Oh, the wrench? Oh, I mean gear. the gear, sorry. Yeah. Thankfully, nobody has the gear. So, two hits. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, one. Can I get two items? Yeah. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go... One, two, three. Getting this guy to safety. Which one? This guy, because nice. he wants to go to the steam plant. And so he's he's safe. So I draw a perk card. I guess this goes. Choose a space with a hero. You may place any number of heroes on that space. Do you want me to get you out of danger too? Yeah. Okay, so move your character to my guy. All the monsters are going to move towards the closest hero. You're all dead. You're all dead. Actually, the Sphinx is only going to move one time. And is going yes. to move one time. Which is actually not bad, because then that puts him there. And, and Cthulhu, but hold on. I Each player draws Cthulhu. one item bag or discard pile. Draws one item from the item bag or discard pile and keeps it. Move each villager legend one space towards a safe location. Oh, we get one of these? Oh, no, no, no. Um, Item. We can choose items. Either oh. from the discard pile or from that. But here's the thing. It says... uh. Move each villager one step closer to the safe location. So both these guys are going to go here, which I think she wanted to go yeah, to. Yeah, she the wanted to so, town, so she's so, safe. Yeah, you she's can take a perk card. And Should then, this be yours? Uh, it doesn't matter. And then the Sphinx moves as well. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so do we want to draw an item from the bag or from the discard pile? Like, it doesn't really matter too much, does it? So... I have this take all items from any one space and give them to any one player. I could play this We might want to store that till we have like a ton of items okay. built up. Okay, that's fine. Or whenever we need it, okay? So, so what are we talking about? Um, yeah, just pick me an item that's really high. Oh, did you put an item on? I did not. Here. Here's a four. I don't think it gets higher than a four. No, there's a five and a six. There's a five and a six? Yeah, I mean, if you want to give me a two, we could at least get the Sphinx thing started. It's up to you, though. The camera, it goes to the You don't want town. a four? Ooh. Here's a six. I'll take a six. That's fine. Uh, 
Okay, it's your turn now. Um, Sorry, hold on. You said I get one too, correct? Mm -hmm. I was trying to see. Now, if you have a green the... item, you can throw Cthulhu back into the void. How? Uh, you can discard green items to move him X amount of spaces, and then at least take Cthulhu off the map. How many spaces? Uh, well, if you go to his space, you'll need to move him one space to get him to the void. I have to move to his space? Yes, you have to be on his space. But he's with that I, I'm just person. telling you, I'm just giving you options. Or you can move your brother to the Weir ob ob Observatory. Um, uh, oh, he's he would have he would have moved up here because that would have been his space because I forgot these are not connected. So he would have moved yeah, up Yeah, I think I'm going to do that for now until these oh, guys kind of separate. Yeah. I can at least take one hit, so... Um, okay, I'm going to move four, so one, two, two three, three, four, four. and get him to his face, get another card, skip the next monster phase, take one item from the discard pile and give it to any player. Do you want me to do that? So you can Hold run? On. Oh, wait, I actually, uh, not even run. We could... Get the yetis into the lair, and then we just have to worry about one more yeti. Because, okay. like, uh, if we if you give me an item, I can discard it, which will give me seven movements. I can go one, two, three, four, and then go like five, six, five, and seven. I can't give you any items. Oh, I moved four spaces. No, already. you can use that. You give an item to uh, any player. Skip the next monster phase, take one item from the discard pile and give Oh yeah, I can do that. Okay. So if we do that, just give me, it doesn't matter, I'll just discard it right away. So boom, I discard it, which gives me seven actions. So I'm gonna go one, I'll go two, three, four, between these guys on these locations. Then I'll go five, six, seven. You're brave moving there, staying well, there. Cthulhu goes to the void, oh, and I can yeah, take one hit. True. Okay, well, Cthulhu would have done that, but he decided to go the opposite direction. Move each monster to... With the eye location to the nearest lair location, which is up here. Cthulhu, you jerk. You big old jerk. And we do one item, right? Yep, and uh, gear, it's the, 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 the fairy... Icon has an X, and the gear icon has... Uh, nobody has a gear icon, so... Of course. It's okay, you know what? That was pretty cool, though. Um, if we can get one of each color... If we can get the Yeti off the board, that gives us a huge advantage as far as defeating the Sphinx and stuff. I'm thinking about maybe putting my 6 here. Um, that way, this is a 9. So we can put a 3 here and have that one, and we need a 2 here. And this is a five, so that'll be pretty easy to solve, too. Where do we have to go to put stuff on his... The Sphinx? You have yeah. to be on his location. Oh, on his location. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick up these for one. one. And then either I can come down here, and I'll be stuck here, or I can go around. I wonder if you should go pick up some more items, because you can I always throw items thinking. in my direction. So that would be one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, do you have items? I only have one item. Oh, okay. Um, instead of picking up that one, do you want me to send some your way? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would love to have seven actions, because I think then we can, we can be set up to knock out the Yeti in a couple turns if we play our cards right, you know? Okay, well, I'm going to give you three and keep two for myself, that just sounds in great. case. Because if we can get the Yeti me. off the board, that just takes off so much pressure, and then we can yeah. focus on the Sphinx and then Cthulhu. Okay. Um, so is, you want to draw a monster's card? Oh, did I draw a monster card? Yeah, you did. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's right, I did. Okay. Sorry, I'm, like, waiting for you to move. Citizen Marie. Marie. She goes, she to, goes to the fool's journey. The Sphinx comes to me. Their pub surprisingly makes a divine to martini, twice. but I always order the Cross Creek Brew. Um, so the Sphinx moves here, because he's the frenzy. Yep, and Plus, he's going he's to attack the crystal. Me. And who else is the crystal? Cthulhu. And he moves one this way. Oh, oops. And then So the gets... thing is, he he moved, he's going to attack, and then he's going to attack again. So he gets to attack twice. He gets to attack twice. Why? Because 
He activates for the Frenzy Monster, and then he activates for the Crystal. Uh, yeah. It's annoying. I would prefer if the Yeti was a Frenzy Monster. Have two course. hits. Well, so, at least I gave you stuff. Yeah, I'll lose two items. Uh, two more hits. Hey, look, I, I lost all the items. Yep. I really tried. That's okay. I was hoping we could line this up to... Hey, at least I didn't get the excla exclamation point. Yep. Okay. Um, um, you know what? Even if I die this turn... I can do this and give you any items. Yeah, but like from one space, it's going to be two items at most. I mean, it's well, Let's just see how this something. turn plays out, okay? Okay. Well, well, let me think about this. If I can go one, two, three... Well, right maybe. here, if you go... Oh, Nope, never yeah, mind. Uh, maybe one, two, three, and then you'd still have four moves. Yeah, I, well, the thing is, let's go ahead and push the Yeti. You have one of each color. You do not have one of each color. Well, you would though if you picked up. You could. Okay, let's defeat the Yeti. Let's just get the Yeti out of our here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just do these two because this is the furthest corner. It doesn't really matter. So you want me to play this card? Yeah. Okay. We're playing this um this perk card that lets us uh, Clockwork Companion. It lets us uh, take all items from. Any one space and give it to any player. And you can play this perk cards at any point unless they say otherwise. So she's giving me these two items from here. So it's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the backpack to give me the plus four actions. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, which completes this guy. And then go up there and then. Wait, where's the. Okay, no, I'm going to go. Six, seven, because I want to rescue her before somebody has a chance to kill her. Oh, okay. And she then, the house of so Dawn, we just need to here. discard for to get rid of the Yeti? One of each color to get rid of the Yeti. Oh, I need oh, another I one. Oh, I misread that. Bummer. What? And, um, oh, well, yeah, the Yeti gets to move this turn because he has a knife. I think we forgot to move him one turn. Okay, three items. Um, and then James and Betty go to the south station. Notes, the safest way to traverse the town is aboard the night train, but the conductor uh, sings a, a mal, maldolin tune. Where? And see, this is this is just to show you guys how bad our luck is. They spawn oh. right there. The Yeti immediately moves over there. I know, it's just like, come and on. And then the Sphinx is going to move. He's going to move twice. He's going to go one, two, three. Well, you're... Three, four, five, one... One, two, three, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's just about as worse it could be as it could be. Why? He is only supposed to move two spaces. He's got the frenzy uh. and the knife. So uh, we'll do these guys first. Watch, we're going to roll two hits. Or we're going to roll an exclamation point and hit that's going to kill her too. Putting us one step. Yeah. Called it. They die. And then with the Yeti special ability, one, two, three, because he's the nearest one. So they die. So is that considered three since there's two of them on that? No. Okay. So these guys are dead, so it's going to go. Yet he had to get one last lick in before. So you got one, two, three. Ah, oh, you're just so close. Does that affect you too? No, just one nearest person. Now the Sphinx gets to roll to attack me. You want to roll two dice for the Sphinx? Not really. <laughs> we lose. That's like the second time we've lost this game. We did better this time. Yeah. But, like, what are we supposed to do when the people are spawning next to the monsters? Like, they spawn, the monsters go there and just kill them. And then this guy's ability is a joke. I'm sorry, his special ability is called Snow Blast. The closest hero, closest hero or citizen, not ranged, just closest hero or citizen that's not in the Yeti's location takes one hit. This has no effect on everyone in the Yeti's location. So, like, you could be on the other side of the map and the Yeti could just kill you. Or kill the civilian that he wasn't close to. So the monsters are a little OP for this one. It feels like the map is too like clustered. Like yeah. it just feels like you can't get away from anybody. And the bag is cheap. Yeah, well that's that's the complaint I have for American monsters. This is I love Cthulhu. I love Lovecraft. Um I don't like Cthulhu as much as other people, but I do understand why he's like the most recognizable. But like this is probably my least favorite Horrified. Oh, definitely. And it just feels like we've gotten our tails kicked twice. And this one we did much better than we did last time. You pretty much have to run the entire game. Well, the thing survive. is, we were avoiding them, and then we'd get cards out, pull Cthulhu out. It was like, okay. Yeah. Like, what are you supposed to do when that happens? And then 
Which he didn't really cause a lot of trouble. When it wasn't really Cthulhu. Out. Yeah, this time Cthulhu was just kind of in the background. But it's like it's the Yeti. Just... The Yeti is not fun. Like mm-hmm. I will say, the Yeti's not a very fun person to fight. Um, the fact is, you you have a one in four chance of finding his lair, and then there's little locations that are just so far away. And the way like it says guide, which makes me think that you have to use the guide action. You can't just carry them with you. Mm-hmm. I think that's one way to modify it. Plus, change the snow power. Plus, like. Is the Yeti really known for having kids? I'm not up on my Yeti lore, but I've never heard of the I've Yeti having kids. I've never heard of him having kids before. Yeah, so that's kind of a weird monster. Um, I, I would almost say, like, unless you absolutely love these monsters, don't even bother with this version. No. I hate to say that, but it's like, we, we've played twice, and we've even done some things that favored us. Like, we were set up to defeat Cthulhu pretty easily, um, because you have to discard it. You, you'd randomly draw an item. And that item determines the strength of Cthulhu. We drew a one. That was random. Yeah. So we were set up to defeat Cthulhu, but like the Sphinx, it's like just tedious to defeat him. I guess we should have taken the Sphinx out first. Maybe since he was the frenzied character, but yeah. I, you know, you don't, you don't know. Well, it just takes so many items. You need to like, we need, we need one, two, three, four, five items. And they need to be very specific because you need to get all these filled properly. I wasn't impressed with the character choice either. Yeah, the characters. I I, I like playing as skeletons. I'll admit that. I, I do like the steampunk, but I don't love steampunk aesthetics. It's probably one of my least favorite punk aesthetics. Uh, I think cyberpunk is a much more interesting. But with um, these characters, this I'll be honest. Be I don't think in this uh, in this realm. Yeah, it it I just mean, it feels like these are a bunch of ideas that they had that they couldn't get to fit a better theme. Yeah. I, I mean, okay, the Guardian would work. He's cool. The Fortune Teller also works. The Investigator the works, but the... the Investigator just is weird. Yeah. Um, it just feels a modern day, if you know what that means. But, like, I think just the way the monsters don't give so... you much breathing room. I think that's the thing that really bothers me about well, this Well, you game. almost need another... Some yeah. more people helping you. Because I feel yeah. like if we had another player in here, well, maybe it wouldn't have been as bad. Cause then it would be... If we were all separating, it would be chasing multiple people. But I don't know. It's well, and and there's this just didn't feel like much of a problem in the other games, and I couldn't tell you why. But like between the two games that we've played, most of the heroes would spawn in and then die. We were only, we we rescued three of them, but that's just because we got really lucky. And we kind of had to throw ourselves out there too to get them. Like, they would have died unless we, like, really intervened. Yeah. It's like, like, this one, for example. Like, the Yeti is, right, right there, and then the guy spawns and, boom, kills him. Yeah. Because they're supposed to go to the nearest villager. If they would just ignore the villager unless they entered a space, maybe that would help out. Well, and then he got his exclamation point, which killed yep. the other one. Yep. And then the Sphinx kills me. Like, there's just, like... So... So, yeah. I, like, I, I, I love Horrified, but I don't like this game. And I thought I would. I was looking forward to the Cthulhu. I was looking forward to, like, I like the Sphinx. I like Yeti stuff, too. The only one that we didn't... The other I'm, the other monster is the only one I don't really care for. But I, I, I hate to be that way. I hate to be like that. But it's... I don't I recommend mean, like, this one. Like, I almost want to pack it up and send it back to get my money back. So. I'm not going to do that because we've played the game. That's true. And well, I'm just very disappointed in it. Let me just say, when when it comes time to get rid of board games, this one is going to be the easiest one. Oh, yeah. In my current yeah. collection. Like, yeah, I could put this up for sale tomorrow. I'll probably play this a few more times to see if I'm wrong. If we got any major rules wrong in the comments, let us know. But yeah. I don't think we did. I just don't think these are very balanced monsters. I th- that's a problem, too, is I think this is kind of becoming like an annual release. So they don't have time to play yeah. test it. I would say the confidential cards are really um, helpful. They're strong. Yeah. But then you only get them if you can save the people. Who and keep spawning people next keep to the monsters. spawning next to the monsters, you can't save so them. So I think one of the big problems with this is the central location. It kind of makes everything close to each other. The other maps, I'm, I'm looking at this, the other maps had um, bridges that kind of kept everything separate. Yeah. So the boards felt like much further apart. Yeah. At this board, everything feels too close together. I would say that. So, yeah. um, and I, 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 I mean, just, I'll just tell you this, how it feels like I, I, I just doesn't feel like you can hide anywhere. Yeah. You try to hide from the monster. You try to get away as farthest as you can. Farthest, mm-hmm. further. Yeah. I don't I, know. I farthest, think that the monster should move before the people spawn too. Huh? 
I think one thing is if the monsters would move and then the people would spawn in. But like, I I, I mean, I'll just like tell you how that how the how the monster phase goes. Um, so yeah, you draw item cards, you play the event, and then the monsters attack, which which is fine. Like the cards laid out fine. It's from top to bottom, which is good. But like, I think the monsters should attack first. Should attack before then people spawn in. Like people spawn like the in. card. You could even have those cards that say like do the monster attacks phase first yeah. and then spawn in. Because the monsters attack don't give you any chance to respond to the people. Yeah. Like, I can't save I people say that. when literally between them spawning in and the monster moving and attacking, I, I can't do anything about it. Especially with the board being so condensed. Yeah, or cluttered. It just feels, yeah. There's just so many places, too. Like, they tried to add a bunch of stuff, and it's, yeah. it's a little overwhelming. Wouldn't you say it's like overwhelming? I don't know if there's any more. Like, I got that to look, and I'm not really not going to because I don't care that much. But I, it, it feels like there's more spaces in like the American Monster. That's the one we've played most yeah. recently. I like American Monsters. The Universal yeah. one is the oh, best. Oh, I one. love the Universal, the Universal one. Is my the best yeah. one so far. Definitely. And I'm really disappointed in this. I, okay, let's see the good things. The miniatures are cool. Yes, uh, the um, miniatures are. They definitely have an interesting. Cool. Okay, they have a cool take on Cthulhu because Cthulhu is mentioned as having claws. Yeah. And nobody draws them with these kind of claws. I like the lobster claw. It's a cool, unique look, okay? Yeah, and um, they have unique Like puzzles. the two-faced Cthulhu. Yeah. I almost say, I bet you if we just played with two monsters, this wouldn't feel as overwhelming. It'd probably be okay, maybe. But the two monsters says the easy mode, and we've played Horrified enough that we, should, we shouldn't we should be crushed be on, on standard. Third. It should have come down to the wire at yeah. the most. Yeah. I don't think this is, I don't, I don't, you couldn't convince me to play this with four players. With four monsters, I mean. Mm -mm. Not unless we had like four. Even then, guys, I hate to be salty about this, but it's like we've lost twice, and like we went from halfway to being dead to just totally dead before we could really do much. Yeah, and we were even rescuing people. Like yeah. that's the thing. It's like, what are you supposed to do um, when you can't really get away from the monsters? It's. I mean, if you guys have any suggestions or advice. To we're playing something wrong, rolls wrong, let us know. We're open. Yeah, I'm totally open to admit that we might have made a mistake somewhere, but like for me, this just doesn't feel as fun or um, fair as the other two yeah. have felt. Yeah. Um, so uh, obviously, if you like Horrified, go with the Universal Monsters. Go with the American Monsters if you like the theme of American Monsters. Yeah. This one, there's better Cthulhu games out yeah. there. So maybe if you really love the Yeti I mean, and the Sphinx. I think the puzzle for here and that is good, but this Yeti. The, the, this is my, uh, I don't like is my favorite puzzle. Um, I, I wonder if we got rid of the Yeti and tried it with the other one. Maybe it would be better. I just don't know. And and maybe like, I don't know. Maybe they weren't, they meant for you to be able to walk around with the other people. But if that was the case, then, then it, it wasn't needed to be worded well, better. Well, yeah. Because, yeah. um. Because that's the way I took guide is to... Because, okay, there's a guide action. That's why it says... One legend to or from an adjacent location. One legend. Yeah, it says legend to, which is kind of weird, but... Um, yeah. But, okay, so guide says one legend or NPC. Let's just say NPC. That's not a enemy. Friendly NPC. Yeah. Um, to or from a location. So the guide action is... That's how you pull people from other locations to your location, right? Yeah. Or if you can push them into yeah. other location. You can push them to safety. So you have to use that for the Yetis. You can't just like take the Yeti from here and go one, two, three. You have to go one and then walk there yeah. and then go two and then, you know, or, or you could like go here and be effective and go one, two and push them over there. But, but it's it just, takes it's, up so much, so many of your actions. Yes. And you're already trying to find a location that you have a one in four chance. Plus there's a card that kind of reshuffles yeah. them around and you're trying to deal with the other monsters and it's like. It's <sighs> too much. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I hate to I hate to be negative because I was looking forward to this game, but um, I, I think if you want to go horrified, just go with the original. Um, Definitely. And 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 like to the people who are making this, like I, I'm again with the yearly 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 release schedule that you guys are under because I think Grief Monsters just came out last year. Did they? That's that's a time crunch. So I'm not throwing stones at the designers. Yeah. You if you don't have time to test a game out, you don't have time. Yeah. But you guys can't fall into that trap. Otherwise, nobody's going to buy your product because mm -hmm. it's just they're going to be like, well, horrified used to be fun. And the thing is, if I want to play horrified, I have a horrified that I love. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to be as ready to pull the trigger on the next one. Mm -mm. Uh, I want to get the Greek monsters because I do want to play with the Greek monsters. 
in Sea of Thieves. We don't have that one yet. Oh, okay. Um, we bought this one just because it came out, and I'm like, hey, let's just play a relevant game. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be relevant, guys. I mean, um, I was unsure about it before we bought it, but now I'm definitely. <laughs> yeah, I, I might, I might gather a couple of friends who like horrified and who are really good at strategy and seeing if we can crack it open. But I think they're going to come to the same conclusions that we do. We'd rather play the universal one. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm terribly sorry to be negative about this. I, I want to be positive, but I'm also going to tell you how I feel. And the game has good art production. It's got good miniatures. It just, it fails when it comes to game balance. I, that's all yeah. I can really say. The monsters are too OP. It, it feels like you just can't do anything about it. And I, and I get it, like, oh, Cthulhu is supposed to be overpowered yeah. and overwhelming. Well, but I like, can see that, but the rest of them... But we're playing Horrified. We're not playing... Yeah. We're not, you know, like, if you wanted a real Cthulhu board game experience, um, then, the creator of Arkham Horror yeah. said said this, and I really like this. He's like, you roll dice, and then you die. That's, that's a Cthulhu. That's a Lovecrafting experience. We don't play board games for that. We play board games with a chance of winning. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, so, uh, thank you for watching, <laughs> uh, sorry to be all negative about yeah. it, but like, we will always tell you how we feel. We're just being honest about the board game, so. Yeah, it, it, and guys, like I said, we tried to play this before, we lost, and we lost in such a fashion that we had enough time to restart and film again. But, as we said, if we're missing something, let us know. We are very open. And, and you might you, you might rightfully say skill issue, but the other thing I don't like is yeah. I don't like all these icons. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to get the game cross compatible with other games. But it's confusing. But yeah, it does. It doesn't really work. Sorry, it doesn't. Um, you guys need to, there, there was there's a better solution to that. Sorry to complain so much, but uh, please take our complaints um, as honest and what we feel. So. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, take the initiative and roll out. See ya.